All right, on my last video, I picked this thing up for free. Uh, it was a nightmare to get it off the truck and we got it home safely. So, like I said in my last video, this is a 11 foot bed and my pickup is a eight foot bed. Well, technically nine foot. So I have to cut a chunk of this. I kind of marked right there and there. I'm gonna take this center out to shorten the wheelbase from the cab to make the truck fit. Uh, and then I'm gonna take this piece so I don't have to touch the front wall here, which will make uh, life a lot easier. I'm going to move that where that piece was and it should go so easy. And here's the truck I'm putting it on. The wheelbase on this truck is exactly eight feet and that bed is exactly eight feet wide, so it's nice. Um, the part I'm fitting is the cab. I'm most worried about the cab to the center of the axle is uh, 57 inches roughly, but the actual bed from the end to center of wheel is like 55. So that's what I'm gonna make the other bed. So the guy did not give me the key for this bed and there was a uh, one, two, three bins that were locked. So here's the uh, universal key to open these locks. Drill out these rivets. Next, you get your hammer. Aha! And then you pop the little clip lock part out. And then uh, that holds the door, that holds the handle from turning. Haha! So this is pretty much all it is. This is the other door. That's the lock. That's the rod. So you just pop this clip and pop the rod out and the rod goes through this, this hole here. So when you pull the handle, uh, this little clip thing can't go in to open the door. All right, so I got a jack supporting that. I got a jack stands in each corner and I got one in the middle there and there and then the far back ones um, and I have these so these are going to hold when I cut the right there that whole chunk isn't just going to fall down but it'll be supported by that and then the whole bed will be supported by those middle ones so I am safe to cut. All right, so I got my line here. Uh, I made a line up here and then up around other side. So I'm just going to zip this with a sawzall. The floor really doesn't matter. Look at the size of this. I can re-weld that probably. And uh, now I have that line there. I have to go up over, but I'm going to take care of this piece first. So here we go. All right, I got the one bin cut I got <clears throat> all the way to the inside of the box to the other side of this bin uh, I'm using a grinder and a sawzall and I'm doing pretty well all right uh, day two I got a couple new packs of blades and a nice new face shield woohoo all right so I have uh, this cut this is uh, two layers it's this bed uh topper is uh sits on the actual uh boxes so it's one layer for the shelf and then another layer for the box underneath and i have this going through here and i have that whole thing cut look at the floor separation i can stick my whole hand down there that's crazy. It feels funny when you. It's like a trampoline. All 
All right. Beautiful. All right, I nipped the floor and I got a, there's a, there a couple one, two spots here and there. I have this safety strap so it doesn't fall over. I can move the whole thing in and out. And uh, so that means only one thing. I am completely separated. I have to do it all over again. Uh, 26 inches towards the back of the bed. Alrighty, oh, it's starting to rain. Well, as you can tell, there's the top of that box, top of that one. I just slid it right down <laughs> one box to the other. So that couldn't have worked out any better. The, the straighter the cut, the easier it is to put back together. So I made sure I made them as straight as I possibly could. I'm gonna pop this door off. I marked uh, each spot weld with Sharpie. So just drill the spot weld out and then you can pop it right off. I won eventually. All right, other side, got the other door off. Um, this is how, this is what I was talking about. The, uh, this is two layers. So the first layer is the box, the actual utility bed. And then this cap is uh, removable. I don't know what kind of hard, like butyl maybe caulk they use, but they weld it in spots and then uh, caulk the rest. So I have to cut uh, from here, I gotta cut like 26 inches.
All right, I'm gonna do like I did the last time. I got a uh, jack on either side of this thing. I got um, a, this pump jack to lower it down. I got the whole floor cut. I made the, the two pieces connect right on the center of this support for the bed. So I just have to grind down the welds on this side, pull it away, slide the new piece on, and it should rest right on the support. So that's good. All right, one more cut on the floor. Let me get inside. And that is it. You'll see the whole thing probably drop and fall. If this falls isn't the end of the world here. Alright, look, just missed you guys. So, uh, it fell down, um, like you saw, and that's alright, because gravity always wins, or something. Now I'm going to put that on there. Stay tuned. Okie dokie, I got the, uh, all the boxes outside, like in the roof piece, that was, I had to wrestle them, they were like, Trying to move a big jellyfish or flopping all over. And I might need a new shoe. Talking to me. All right, look what I'm up to. Uh, I still have that underneath holding, supporting that, but I have massaged and grinded um, these two pieces together for the last couple days. And I have probably, besides this little boo-boo right here, I have like a one-eighth or less gap up. That'll have to be that. I tack welded some together just to hold it. I have like a one eighth gap where a little bigger, a little smaller, all the way around on this side, all the way up in this box down here. I have to pull these together a little bit more. I'm going to put a new floor in so I didn't care about that gap. Here's the top. I can't get much better than that. Someone else probably could. That's better than I am, but I mean, that's the best fit up I've ever done on this size of job. And here's how it looks from afar. All right, I got this. Start tacking the top. Um, I dropped these welding clamps in you drop them in the hole slide that puppy in there boom perfectly flush and the best part about these is as you tack behind that ugly tack that I just did you can slide these down as you go and then tack behind it and keep sliding it. So you only really need one. We're tacked all the way across. Now time to do the bottom. Well, you know how it goes. I was 
MIG welding, the hole underneath of the box, and it took a crap on me, so I have to order a couple new parts. The gas tube was like leaking like crazy, and then it wasn't getting good gas to, to the nozzle. So I am going to TIG weld the rest. Um, this thing was $1,000 I bought like 10 years ago, and it's still, it's still awesome. Stick and TIG, Miller, you could, Econo TIG. It's like a beginner, I guess, not, not all the gadgets and bells and whistles, but so I made myself a little standing platform, and then uh, I climb on up here. I have my foot pedal up here. Okay, top is done. Uh, a little distortion, but I really don't care about the distortion because it's a work truck. So I'm going to do the two sides now, and then I'm going to go down each side. Alrighty, I got the uh, top done, the sides done. Now I just have to go along that side, and then that side I'm going to work my way down. I tell you what, having that pedal on a little rung of a ladder and balancing on the ladder while you're trying to make a nice weld is pretty difficult. All right, done that side. I brought this over and put my foot there, so. It was a lot easier. Time to do the other side. Got a new GoPro mount. This thing's pretty sweet. This clamp is crazy, crazy strong. It's made by same top. It's uh, flexible and it can spin. So, cool. All right, I got this side tigged up. Um, I'm gonna, I got all the ladder work done. That's good. So I'm just gonna stick my head in there and start keep going down the line but it looks gorgeous so far well, I got most of the floor done that whole wall up there and most of the underside done but I'm tired of uh, contorting in that little box for the moment so I'm gonna go to this side and I can grab half of this from down here and then I, I did the whole floor I just have to uh, do the do the beams across, if you want to call them that. All right, I got the whole top welded, the whole side the floor I have to put a new floor in um, so I'm not worried about that <clears throat> you got some quite quite a few holes and it's like paper thin so I'm gonna replace this piece across here same with the other side um, this door looks good and then this door bottom here will be in my next episode of how to waste your days welding. All right, a uh, new MIG gun came in. Uh, it was leaking out of this push connect for the trigger, for the gas. 
So there's the old one out with the old in with the new here. And I, super simple to wire up, so I'm happy of that. You feed everything through this uh, feeder through there and then to the back. All right, um, make sure uh, when you tuck them in, the liner is on the outside, so it receives the wire nicely. And then put this on, and then that's it for this side. These two connectors that um, are the trigger wire to tell the machine to run the spool, um, they uh, are continuity wires, so it doesn't matter which one goes to which lead. And last but not least is, well, not last actually, the power wire, is this hose. And this goes right into the gas tube. It's just a push connect right into there. Zip ties are your best friend here. Pop this in. Oh yeah, nice. Everything is zip tied nicely out of the way. Power wire on. All right, got wire. I'm gonna turn the gas on, make sure there's no leaks. That's better. All right, we're ready to weld. All right, uh, I stitch welded the shelving because they're not structural at all. That shelf and that shelf. Uh, I ran up some beads along the side that I couldn't hit from the outside. And now I'm just putting the, uh, the sh sh I guess it's a shelf support right in the center of the uh, seam where I welded. So that should hold nicely. So I'll tack them in, and then the inside is done. All right, well, I'm gonna keep grinding away at all my welds, flatten it out, and then uh, that pretty much concludes part one. Part two will be fixing the existing uh, bodywork. Here is a shot of what it is now. Go around the other side. And then I will put up a photo of what it was so you can see my progress.